I get this call from uh, my old agent, because I was going to try to move to a, a different agent, to go out for this audition with Tom Selleck. And Tom Selleck, he was producing it, and uh, Stanley Tucci, you know Stanley Tucci? He was the lead. So I, here's what happens. You, now I'm desperate. I have $8 left, right? So I meet the casting director, and then they call you back. It's called a callback. Then I meet the producers. And then they make a deal in case you get the job. So they say, if you get this job, you'll make such and such amount of money per episode. But now I had to fly out to Los Angeles to meet the studio, which is Universal Studios. Ner incredibly nerve-wracking. I met this, it went into the Universal Studios, met the studio. Then I had to go to the network at NBC and audition in front of them, in front of all these, you know, men and the, the, the network there. And I auditioned, and I thought this was the role for me. This was the role for me. She was an attorney. She was a lawyer. She was so incredibly smart. And this was the one. This was the one. And I had $8 left. This is it. 10,000 auditions. I do the audition. I fly back home to New York City. I didn't get the job. Trying to convince people, La La Land, if you haven't seen it, that you could be a serious actress takes a lot of a lot of ability to hear no. And so now I had $8 left to my name. I remember going to the cash machine and it literally said $8. So I was pretty devastated. I get this call for a soap opera. My, my sister-in-law came up to be with me. I get this call for a soap opera. Soap opera, right? That should be a breeze. I should be able to book a soap opera. So I go in and in the audition, you were supposed to open your top. and in the audition. I said, you know, I am just not going to do that. So I do the audition. I had to wear a long wig and blue contact lenses. It was all sort of ridiculous. And I go backstage and I watch the other actress audition. And guess what she did? Opened her top. And I, I looked at uh, my uh, cousin Roslyn and I said, well, I'm not getting this job. And I didn't. So now, not only did I not get the Tom Selleck pilot, I had $8 left to my name. The agent said, it wouldn't help. We won't represent you. I can't even book a soap opera. So now I'm really depressed. And I get this call for Northern Exposure. Now, Woody Allen says 80% of success is showing up. Not that we want to quote Woody Allen, but it's a great quote. 80% of success is just showing up. So I show up for this audition. My sister-in-law was with me because I was too depressed to even show up to the audition. And the casting director, you know what the casting director said to me? I don't know what these producers are thinking. We saw all of New York City's best talent last week. So you're like not even the creme de la creme, you know? We're, we're, just, we're just desperate, so we're seeing like the bottom rung of actors in New York City. I'm like, whoa, that's uplifting. So then they open the door, and I'm supposed to go into where the camera was, and I, I couldn't even go into the room. Now remember, I was Molly since the age of three. Very confident. I was in New York City at 15. I was in Hollywood at 17. Now I'm 27. I can't even walk in the door to that camera. My sister-in-law said, I'll walk in with you. So she walks in with me. I do the audition for Northern Exposure. And afterwards, I'm just crying down Park Avenue. I can't act. I can't act. I just can't act. <laughs> and my sister-in-law said, I thought it was pretty good. So guess what? They negotiated another deal. I have to go back to Hollywood. I go back out to Hollywood. I do the audition. And there's Rob Morrow. Hopefully for the young ones in the audience, this will be on Netflix soon and you can binge watch it. Um, and the, I wore this long skirt. Here she's this bush pilot, right? But I wore a long skirt because I thought it was too heavy in jeans. I thought it looked fat in jeans. So the producer comes running out with his sides going, why did you wear a skirt? Why did you wear a skirt? They think you're too pretty to be a pilot. And I'm like, what? I'm going to lose this job because of... The exterior, you know, it's all about who we are inside. So they gave me another chance. I went in. I took the stool. I straddled it. Not like Sharon Stone, because it was a long skirt. Basic instinct, if you know what I'm talking about. And I have, I straddle it, and I just decided she's not who she is on the outside. She's who she is on the inside. And I do the audition, and I get the role. I got the role. Now, here's what's interesting. This is why if you ever hear a no... If you ever hit the hedge in a maze that sends you to another direction, there's always something better on the other side. I always say to my daughter, go to sleep, 
Make sure you eat well. Go to, tomorrow is a, diff, is a better day. Tomorrow is a better day. So here, this pilot that I didn't get with Tom Selleck never made it to air. That TV show never made it to air. Northern Exposure went on for five years.